In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five circle options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. You can see here I've added five circles here with different color combination I have added as a zigzag one. And then I have put the option one here and you can add the title and the detailed text. And this is for the option two, three, four and five. And I have made one more slide where i have used the latest feature called the sketch and then the same thing i just make into a sketch kind of thing so this is the one more slide and i have added one more slide where i have added some icons something like this so whichever way you want you can just choose the slide from so let's see how to do this in powerpoint go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the circle hollow draw the circle hollow by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect circle and you can see here the width if you can if you want you can reduce the width by dragging this uh, outside you can see the small orange point i'm just dragging this maybe i need this much size and shape outline if you want you can keep it or you can remove it let me just remove it for the time being later on i can add it so i'm just going to make it no outline and then align center align middle then i'm going to keep only one part and the remaining three parts i'm going to delete for that i'm going to use the merge shapes and remember merge shape is not available in 2007 and in 2010 you need to enable it so go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle. I'm just going to select only one part of the circle out of the four parts. So now I'm going to select the circle, hold the shift key and select the rectangle. Go to merge shape. You can see here, just click on intersect. You end up getting this one. Now, if you want, you can just add the outline. Okay. Now I'm just going to press Ctrl D to duplicate and go to rotate and just you can see here I'm going to flip horizontal. Let me just move a little bit here like this much and here also I'm just going to put this much. So now I'm going to select this and move this aside here. You can see here and press Ctrl G to group it. Now I'm going to duplicate this three or four times press ctrl d to duplicate you can rotate it and then just say flip vertical just put it here again i'm going to select both of these by holding the shift key press ctrl d you can see here i've just added and one more i'm going to add press ctrl d and just add it here so i'm going to select all and then just move it little bit here so that all are within the slide nothing is going outside now we have done this basic shapes now it's time for us to change the color let it be blue and for this group maybe i can go and give some red color here this one i can go to more fill colors and i can give maybe a orange color and here I can go and maybe a kind of teal color you can see here and then this one I can go and give some maybe a purple or a pink color combination. So our basic design is ready now I'm going to add the oval shape 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 oval shapes. And before adding the circles, if you want to reduce the size, you can just select all by pressing Ctrl A and then Ctrl G to group. Then hold the shift key. You can reduce the size something like this. And again, you can just go to format, align, center, align, middle and right mouse click group. You can ungroup it back. Then I'm just going to add the circles here. Go to insert shapes. Again, select the same circle hollow hold the shift key you can see here and then reduce the width and just put it here exactly and shape outline you can give maybe black color press ctrl d again just add it here and make sure that it is properly aligned ctrl d you can see here and this is the last one and spend some time to do the proper alignment and 
if you want i can just give one color some gray color i'm going to fill here so and then one more shape which i'm going to select go to insert shapes and then i'm going to select this one you can see here the arrow chevron and then just do this much size maybe this was somewhat gray i'm going to choose and then rotate you can see here rotate right 90 degrees just add it here and this also shape outline i'm going to select black so these are the detail you're going to enter here for this press ctrl d maybe i'm just going to first put it here and ctrl d i'm just going to put it here and again press ctrl d and this is for this one just rotate it you can see here i can just make it flip vertical again press ctrl d and i'm just going to add it here one more so uh, here uh, you can see here this design is ready and if you want you can just add uh, some more uh, shapes here go to insert rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here the same color shape outline you can make it black press ctrl d to duplicate bring the other side and this is the color which we have chosen now if you have the icons you can just simply go to insert icons again remember this is the new version only you have this feature otherwise the older version you don't have this icon feature if you don't have the icon you can just simply add the option number one two three four five or a b c d e i am going to choose some icons from here because i am using the latest version of powerpoint this is 2019 version and i'm going to just randomly select five icons and you have to make sure that you have to choose the right icon according to your requirement according to the the text okay so let me just make it the height and width as 0.6 only and i'm just going to copy the icon one by one here you can see here let me just put the last one here and if you want you can just put the same color of what you have chosen here so you can do also the same thing so this is uh, over we have added the icon the last thing is to add the text so this is my option one i can just say here like this option one and i'm going to choose the font called the hand of sean and then reduce the size and i'm going to choose the color which i've used for this one you can see here with the eyedropper sorry i can just go here and choose the same color and then you can add some detailed text here so this is also i'm going to choose the font which is the hand of sean and reduce the size i'm going to give some gray color center align and put it here so this is my option one control d so this is my option two control d i'm just going to bring it here the option three option four you can see here and then i'm going to select option five so it's a matter of just changing the number and you can change the color as well so you can see here this is four and this is five so with this uh, we have completed the design and uh, once more if you want to do some more changes for example i'm just going to select here you can go to format shape outline and if you feel that you are having this option sketch option then you can just change the way you want i'm just selecting the scribble you can see here it has changed so i can just do same thing here also but if you don't have this option it's better to go with the normal one only That's it from me friends, thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff, till then goodbye.